Hey and welcome to another episode of Back From The Future and today I just realised that the uh, trailer has dropped for Fast and Furious 9 and I cannot wait so I thought what rather than waste time let's go and do a reaction on it. Now I'm a great fan of the franchise since the early I think yeah from the early 2000s when the first Fast and Furious came out and you know the first one just blew me away. And I think it's still, um, as it stands, the best movie out of the franchise. Um, the franchise has grown and, you know, um, it was unfortunate when um, Paul Walker passed away uh, while they were filming um, one of the Fast and Furious uh, franchises. And um, he will never be forgotten ever. And I think in a way they're carrying on the legacy of his death uh, throughout the movies because I think in um, in the movie one of uh, uh, I think Vin Diesel's son is called Brian isn't he not uh, in memory of Paul Walker which is a beautiful thing um, so without further ado let's watch this and see uh, the trailer and I'll do a reaction I'll let you know my thoughts I used to live my life a quarter mile at a time. But things changed. I'm a father now. I will always be in your heart. Little Brian, I have a gift for you. Your daddy gave me this. No, I'm gonna give it to you. It's very special. It's for protection from what's coming. All right, Dom, what's next? No matter how fast you are. I am not to be compared to you. No one outruns their past. I am more easy, you trying your best to become me. And mine just caught up to me. Been a long time, Dom. So we're up against a master thief. Assassin, high performance driver. Who is he? Jacob is Dom's brother. Your whole life, you pushed yourself to be faster than Dom, smarter than Dom, stronger than Dom. But could you kill him? Because I'm ready if you are. There's nothing more powerful than the love of family. But you turn that into anger, there's nothing more dangerous. Maybe this is the end, but we're gonna go out together. You know I'd ride to the death with you. Get to work. Please tell me that's not a Pontiac Fiero strapped to a rocket engine. Impressive, I know. No, no, that's that's not impressive. My ass is in fuego! Magnet plane? Hold on. Tell me you're not thinking what I think you're thinking. There's no bridge! Oh, hell no. Hey guys. 
surprise. Nice clubhouse. Oh my gosh, that was Han at the end. We all thought he had died, I think, he in Tokyo Drift, but then he was back in five, which was a precursor to Tokyo Drift. The timeline's totally screwed, but Han is back. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what I thought. I actually liked it, but there's a few problems with this trailer. First of all, um, they've shown way too much in that trailer that trailer needs to be half the length even even just over a quarter they're showing too much that usually shows that the studio is getting desperate they put a lot of money in it and they're going to try to keep everyone uh what else han i don't understand why he's back he's dead long gone but you know it's just one of those things where you know Fast and Furious doesn't have any canon, you know, they just, the studios just do what they want and, you know, we're supposed to go along with it. Um, there's a lot of CG acts and sequences, but I think in today's day and age, it's getting a bit longer in the tooth. People actually want to see more real, realistic crashes, but, you know, this is more totally over the top. And I think, I mean, maybe the Fast and Furious franchise can get away from get away with it but who knows for how long um i mean if you look back it's you know it's a long throw from when we originally had the fast and the furious and where it's come to today um what else what do i want to say it looks exciting but is it anything new um i will say you know it was nice to see john cena but i'm not being funny John Cena trying to pass off as D Vin Diesel's brother. It ain't gonna cut it really. I mean, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna lie to you. I think I've got more of a chance of passing off as Vin Diesel's brother than John Cena has. Do you know what I mean? Um, so, uh, but I think it's still gonna be an interesting and, uh, you know, good movie to see. Now, you see, what the studios have also done is something smart. They've sort of like made it a family thing. And this is, I think, so, you know, dads can bring their sons and daughters and uh, go see the movie as a family thing. It's very much family orientated, which I think I love. You know, it's trying to identify with, uh, you know, the core values of family. And, um, I think that was a very smart move from the studio. You know, definitely if you've got, if you're a father or mother, and you definitely want to take your kids out to see a good uh, suspension of disbelief movie, that is the movie to go and see. Without a doubt, it's going to be entertaining. And uh, it's one of those things where if you were born either in, you know, the mid 80s or early 90s, um, by now, you know, you may have settled down and had kids and, you know, you saw the original Fast and Furious franchise, you know, you want to introduce your own kids to the Fast and Furious franchise. This is an excellent way to go. How, I mean, it is by, without a shadow of a doubt, one of the best franchises out there. I think the top one's got to be James Bond, um, but, you know, Fast and Furious, wow. You know, we're on nine now. How many more can they do when until they say, look, no more, no more, no more? I suppose as long as um, uh, Vin Diesel's interested in it, they'll keep pumping them out. Um, I like the, all the different range of cars and I like the Fiero as well. But I again, that scene with the Pontiac Fiero where it's a rocket, they didn't need to show that. They didn't need to show that. That would have been a nice little pleasant surprise. I'm going to try to... F I mean, that's the whole thing. Sometimes I don't like um, doing these trailer reactions because I do actually want to see the movie, but I don't want it sport for me at the same time. So, you know, it's like, what do I do? Do I uh, do a reaction video but sport a movie for myself and for yourselves because the studios have sport it uh, by putting too much in the trailers? I don't know, it's not great, is it? I'm gonna try, I've got a memory like a, you know, like a sieve. So hopefully I'll try to forget all this and uh, when I go see the movie, it'll be a pleasant surprise to see it, but I doubt it very much. But guys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this reaction. Please join me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. 
please like, subscribe, leave comments. Uh, whether they're good or bad, doesn't really matter as long as you know you express yourself and maybe you know I can take something away from that and I'll see you guys in the future if there is one.